Okay, so this is my antenna, and all it is, it's right here. It's this quarter wave rod monopole with a ground ref plane reflector. And there's a piece of coax that goes into a connector there. It just solders to that, and there's no matching network. And there's about 25 feet of low loss cable that goes to a digital radio. So that cable's coming in here and it goes into the software defined radio. It's a STR Play software defined radio, which has a RF input, USB output, and it does all of the receiving demodulation. Um, all the processing is done in there, which is pretty cool, under control of the software, which is in this little uh, mini computer, which I wrote into. Okay, so. What I've got here, I'm remoting into my other computer, which has run this SDR Uno program, which is a software controlled radio, and I have it set for 180.311 megahertz, because 180.3 megahertz, 0.31 megahertz is a carrier in an ATSC digital TV signal. And so what you're seeing on the screen, um, there's a lot of kind of confusing windows, but there's a spectrum screen and let me cursor over to that and you can see in there the little peak that's this little bit this little tone that's a carrier signal and this is a, called a waterfall spectrum down here and i have this thing set up in sideband lower sideband mode so what it's doing is it's going to um, look at that kind of the gradient area in the spectrum is going to take from the red bar over and consider everything to the left as a, a single sideband signal and so it's going to take a frequency and treat it as a tone okay and so you get a tone and an amplitude and that way you basically get a sound that you can listen to when um, you're monitoring so what we're looking for are reflections of meteors up in the upper atmosphere and there are no televisions on this band um, this I think is channel 8 D DTV channel 8 there are none within hundreds of miles of where I'm at but there's a little bit of bleed through because a little bit of reflection in the atmosphere and if there's a meteor what will happen is that that distant channel will be reflected off of the ionized trail of the meteor and then we'll see it in the waterfall spectrum that lower screen and it'll show up like this little dot but also we'll hear it and you'll be able to hear the sound so that's basically what's going on. So again, um, I've got this control up here to start and stop it, gain the frequency that I want, a narrowband filter, um, and it's in slower sideband mode. And there's lots of other controls I haven't explored yet, but oh, right, right there, that thing, this thing right here looks very much like a meteor. That's what we'd expect to see, and uh, I'll show you a little bit of clip that shows you what the tone is that would go with that. 